Hi, have you ever wondered what is PPI in electronic devices? PPI stands for pixels per inch. It is a metric which defines the pixel density or the sharpness of a screen. Now to understand that, we have to first understand what a pixel is. Any screen, whether it is of a mobile, laptop, TV, desktop, is made up of many small components called pixels. In a screen, thousands or millions of pixels are arranged in a line. A pixel is further made up of three sub-pixels, which emits three primary colors, red, green, and blue. Now with the help of these three colors, a pixel can show any color on the screen. Now with that out of the way, let us see what is PPI or pixels per inch. It is a measurement of the pixel density of any screen or display. It also defines into resolution of a screen. Let us take an example. A 10 x 10 pixel image printed in a 1 inch square has a resolution of 10 pixels per inch. Similarly, a 20 by 20 pixel image printed in a 1 inch square has a resolution of 20 pixels per inch. A greater number of pixels in a screen means you can see more details which results into better quality. But this also depends upon the size of the screen and from how far or near you are going to look at it. The first phone to launch with a 1080p screen was the HTC J Butterfly, which was released only in Japan under that name and released as a Verizon exclusive in the US as the HTC Droid DNA. It used a 5 inch screen. 1080p refers to a screen which is 1080 pixels wide with lines that run the entire vertical length of the screen. This isn't to be confused with 1080i which is 1080 interlaced where the P in 1080p stands for progressive scanning. 1080p has much smoother transitions than 1080i and is therefore more common in standard home television sets. Now with the latest mobile phones and LED TVs, the display is not square but a rectangle. Therefore you mostly see companies mentioning the resolution like this, 720p or HD ready, 1080p or better known as Full HD, 2K which is close to 1080p, 1440p which is better known as Quad HD or QHD, 4K or better known as UHD or Ultra High Definition Resolution. And then we have the gorgeous 8K resolution which is 60 times than that of the 1080p or Full HD and this is currently the most expensive resolution screens made by Samsung and LG. So the question you might ask now is can you see high resolution videos on a lower resolution screen? And the answer is yes. It is possible to use a 720p TV to watch a 1080p video. Regardless of what your screen resolution is, you can watch any video on it, no matter the video's resolution, higher or lower. However, if the video you want to watch has a higher resolution than that of your display, your device converts the video's resolution to one that fits the resolution of your display. This is called downsampling. Another question you might want to ask before buying your next screen is, how much is the maximum PPI a human eye can see? Here I want to clear one myth. You may have heard that the human eye cannot distinguish details beyond 300 PPI. During the launch of the iPhone 4 few years ago, this is what was told to the mobile world by Apple. Apple's then CEO Steve Jobs implied on stage that the human eye could not perceive sharpness beyond 300 PPI in the context of smartphone usage. Steve Jobs considered that you are holding your phone or a tablet at 10 to 12 inches from your eyes. There was a lot of controversy but astronomer Phil Bate wrote a good article saying that it depends on how you look at it. Mr. Jobs 300 ppi claim may be remotely true only if you use the 20 by 20 vision as a reference. But the big caveat is that 20 by 20 vision does not represent perfect vision. Real human vision limits are actually much higher than that, possibly closer to 900 ppi or more. Research from Sharp thinks that humans can see up to 1000 ppi. So the conclusion is that you won't be able to tell the difference between a device with a ppi of 400 and 440, 
most of the latest smartphones from Apple, Samsung, LG and others come with OLED screens with retina display and 450 plus ppi which produces stunning and crisp images and is good enough for humans. Do let us know in the comments below that which mobile phone you are using and we will tell you the ppi of your screen. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and watch more such informative videos on our channel.